everyone. My name is Camila and I'm here with my colleague Farsa talking to you from the most livable city in the world, Melbourne. This is truly a very friendly place to live in. However, like most cities in the world, Melbourne faces important challenges. With a 40% increased population in the next 15 years, there will be an important pressure in infrastructure such as road, public transport, housing and landscape. And we can't forget natural hazards, which are quite common here in Australia. But Melbourne is not alone. The world is becoming more crowded, more polluted and more connected. And this is true for both developed and developing countries. Universal problems are highly diverse, ranging from climate change to urbanization, from water to air pollution, and from natural hazards to wars. And we face major environmental problems in non-populated areas as well. The growing energy demand is a latent threat to all natural resources such as rivers, forests and minerals. We must address these challenges in a sustainable and resilient way. And most importantly, solutions must be effectively communicated to stakeholders and policymakers. These and other infrastructure and environmental challenges need to be addressed in the nearest future to provide more secure and comfortable life for future generations. We are now at the University of Melbourne, the largest research organization and top-ranked university in Australia. Melbourne University has a number of schools, academic departments and research centers with a rich history of pioneering research and technological development. The departments of infrastructure engineering fits within the School of Engineering and houses three vital disciplines of geomatics engineering, civil engineering and environmental engineering. We form a group of more than 40 academics, more than 120 high research students from 21 different countries. We work together to develop more sustainable and resilient innovations in areas such as intelligent transportation, spatial information science, disaster management, project management, structure, geotechnical engineering, catchment systems, environmental monitoring, and water resources. Now we are going to meet Professor Abbas Rajabifar, the head of the infrastructure engineering department. We are going to ask his view on how the research in our department contributes to addressing the challenges faced by society. Our department has a research strategy which is in line with the university and the school of engineering research agenda. In line with this strategy and building of the strings from civil engineering, geomatics, environmental hydrology and water resources, we are responding to the society grand challenges. Particularly, we focus on challenges such as sustainability and resilience and place and purpose. Drawing on our three disciplines, the future emphasis of our department is of an integrated focus on resilience and future cities and regions. We will take you through these three by showing a research overview from the discipline leaders and by talking directly to some of the students that carry out this research. Geometrics is all about answering questions about where and when, that is spatial information and spatial temporal information. But uh, with computerization, spatial information has become one of the fastest growing IT sectors worldwide. So satellite-based positioning, remote sensing, web mapping, location-based services, volunteered data such as OpenStreetMaps, smart buildings, smart cities, or connected vehicles illustrate the richness of the domain. Let's talk to some of the research students from Geomatics Group and ask about their views on the main future challenges. Hello everyone, how are you doing? Hey! When you think about geomatics, it's a very interdisciplinary field. So working together with other research departments and industry, I think, is a very important part. I think part. one of the big challenges is how we can manage and model our big data sets and get maybe meaningful information from them. The challenge also comes from the representation of land property. 
uh, engaging the volunteers for collecting geographic information is quite challenging. Yeah. I think uh, how to use social media in this is very big a challenge because it's very hard to extract the meaningful information from social media. Civil engineering is the most exciting, albeit the oldest of our disciplines in infrastructure engineering. We do creative things that really move society forward and we continue to work at multiple levels. One of our grand challenges of the community generally, probably the globe, is how we sustain our way of living as more and more people become affluent. And I think that's going to make us change how we actually function. So things like going back to village environments, things like using our materials and recycling, things like being far more sustainable in the, the really truly global sense of that word, I think that's our future. Design, construction and management of our physical infrastructure require deep knowledge in civil engineering and other related disciplines such as project management. My research investigates the process of infrastructure delivery and try to make it optimized for all the stakeholders, including our society. Energy sustainability is important for achieving fair, prosperous and healthy society. My research is about shallow geothermal technology, technology which can help to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from our buildings. Our researchers install a shallow geothermal system in this new school building. The system extracts a thermal energy from shallow depths and converts it to the sustainable heating and cooling energy for the air conditioning of the building. I monitor the performance of this system to understand how such systems can be designed more efficiently. Also, this project demonstrates the benefits of geothermal technology to the general public. The Environmental Hydrology and Water Resources Group aims to understand the water cycle better. We aim to come up with innovative ways of measuring uh, water in the landscape and better ways of managing water to get the most environmental, social and economic benefit. This depends on excellent engineering and science skills, on incentives to employ those skills and good governance to make that easy. In 30 years time, the planet will have more people, it'll be more urban, we'll have fundamentally different ways of getting our energy, we'll be putting more emphasis on a good environment, so water will be important in that. One of the major challenges faced by hydrologists is the uncertainty in prediction of stream flow at ungauged locations due to lack of ground observations to calibrate the water. Stream flow is important because its extreme values are related with flood and drought. So through my research, I am trying to find an effective way of utilizing remote sensing data to calibrate the model so that we can have better prediction of stream flow. I am also using satellite images in large scale sparsely gauged catchments. I use optical remote sensing data to map floods in extremely flat floodplains. It results in better understanding of flood dynamics and improvement of performance of hydrological models. Now we have a brief idea on the challenges that each discipline faces and how individual researchers contribute to address them. And how about we ask other students to summarize their whole three-year PhD in only a few words. <laughs> Policy analysis in energy transitions. Soil thermal properties. Structural health monitoring. Also seen in the disaster information. Quality of volunteer geographic information. Signal LIDAR. Impact of storm debris. Project success. Urban mobility. Improving hydrologic models. Shell jet thermal technology. Phosphorus flow analysis. Hybrid water supply systems. Crop water stress. Nanomaterials in building. Stakeholder analysis. Prediction at engaged catchments. The Infrastructure Engineering Department works on vital infrastructure and environmental issues that need to be tackled in the nearest future. We trust that our collaborative research efforts will help to shape a better world. And finally, how do you imagine the world in 30 years' time? Intelligent, urban, connectedness. A fair place to live. Intelligent cities. More sustainable. 
smart investment in infrastructure. Sustainable energy networks. More for water. Self-healing cities. Who look at this impact. Integrated. Increased food crisis. 3D. Water scarcity. More agile and adaptive cities. Sustainable society. Smart and intelligent cities. An advanced village.